is the entrance music of the face of a franchise. The man who built the brand. The man who really embodies the Remix Pro spirit for so many years. With Danny by his side is the Neon Ninja, the Aerosol Assassin, the Aerial Arsonist. Nobody is more colorful and eccentric than the facade in the ring and out. And he's had a lot of dream matches here in Remix Pro. Well, he wrestled AJ Styles, took him to the limit eight months before AJ debuted with WWE. While AJ Styles was the IWGP New Japan World Heavyweight Champion. Masada has faced the best in and out of this company. He's beaten Chris Saban. He's beaten Matt Seidel. But he's never faced the man we're about to meet in just a moment. His body language seems as confident as usual. We'll see if it sustains. So you, don't, you don't think he's still mad about when he spray painted him in the face? I would lay low if I were you. I'm trying to. Facade circling the ring, giving his facadograph to so many great fans who have brought their signs and poster boards. Facade is a man of the people until that bell rings and then the focus sinks in. Facade is such a personal competitor that you're going to see a lot out of him tonight. One of the most uh, difficult competitors I've ever scouted in my life. He is so unique, so different. I just hope he doesn't. Uh, Try to kick me in the face tonight. Well, I think you have uh, more important issues in mind here. That no is, offense. That is good for me. Hey, you can call the Saturday Night Delight. Call him whatever you want. John Morrison, Johnny Mundo, has a decorated history, including three times WWE Intercontinental Champion, five-time Tag Team Champion, ECW Champion, a Lucha Underground Champion, Gift of the Gods winner, Lucha Underground Trios Champion, with Jack Evans and PJ Black, and he currently holds championships in Mexico and Qatar. That's the worldly experience of the man whose name embodies the world, Johnny Mundo. Yeah, and I believe he was once uh, 2009 Pro Wrestling Illustrated's most improved wrestler. I also did research, Joe. I also, I also did some. Say it like that. Huh? Okay. No, well, look, Johnny Mundo has been a world traveler, a man who has and oftentimes had a, uh, we'll say a unique relationship with professional wrestling. When it comes down to it, one of the biggest stars right now is, is uh, Lucha Underground has broken through the mainstream, and Johnny Mundo has become uh, as a well-known uh, competitor uh, in the United States, in Mexico, and as you said, all over the world. Let's go to Pedro Luca for the introduction. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Coastal, J.D. Byrider, McGuffey Tents, Modern Woodman, Fraternal Financial, Omega One, Pestel, and Rogers Imagery proudly presents to you your throwdown for the pound main event of the evening. It is a singles contest scheduled for one fall to a finish. Your referee in charge of the action at the sound of the bell, Mr. Troy Davis. Introducing first in the corner to my right, he is escorted to ringside by Danny. He weighs in at 205 pounds. He is a room in the streets at night, creeping while you're sleeping. The Neon Ninja, the Aerosol Assassin, And his opponent to my left, weighing in at 215 pounds, wearing the sweetest tights I've ever seen in my life. He is the shaman of sexy, the guru of greatness, the current reigning AAA and Lucha Underground Champion, Johnny Mundo! 
loss of the mayor of Slamtown. And one thing I was very curious to uh, listen to during those introductions as we laid out is the fan reaction. Because John Morrison, John Morrison celebrating 15 years in the business this year. He has been uh, beloved and respected for the vast majority of that time frame. Facade has been beloved his entire time in Remix Pro Wrestling. How do you pick a sentimental favorite? How do you pick somebody that you like more when you have two athletes who have paralleled one another so much in two completely different worlds? Look, if people can pick who they like, who they don't like, who they're going to cheer for, who they're not going to cheer for the roster, what this is going to come down to is who wins this match. Who's going to be, who walk out the victor? That's what matters here. So people can cheer whoever they want. That doesn't mean anything in the long run. It's so much about what happens between those ropes. It is, but would you agree again? We talked earlier about Chance Crawford, the home field advantage, playing on the home team versus the away team. These are Facade's people. Don't you think it's going to get inside Facade's head if his people support somebody else? Well, and I don't want to, we can talk about Facade's mental game a little bit. Uh, you know, that, I wouldn't call that his uh, strongest suit. Uh, and again, I scouted Facade a lot. Uh, this is what's going to be Facade's stronger suit. That Down technician, over. speed, agility. And I don't think Mundo's going to play the psychology game here. This may sound like a put down on us. It's not meant to be. But Facade, his strength is not when he thinks. His strength is when he reacts. I 100% agree with you, Joe. You put it very succinctly there. Uh, facade is so much of an in-the-moment wrestler. It's not about the psychological game. It's not about uh, who can get into his head, who can get out of it. Facade reacts to the moment. What he feels is right in that moment. And that's his greatest strength. Mundo, very similar. Yeah, we've seen Facade score big. We've seen Facade crash and burn, but every time he leaves with no regrets. Well, it's, it's going to be interesting to see. Facade is, uh, as you've mentioned, some of the names here he's faced in the Ravens. He's faced a lot of individuals uh, who have uh, been a high flyer or a technical wrestler. I don't know if he's faced anyone who could parallel himself as much as this, uh, John Morrison. I mean, that's, that's, a, that's a tough question. Both amazing with their feet, both amazing with their agility. Both deceptively tall. Up and over at the side on his feet. I mean, up until now, the most, uh, the biggest parallel I would give you was Matt Seidel, Evan Bourne. They had a very evenly matched contest, but this may, uh, this may top it. Yeah, it, there's uh, so many parallels as far as size, strength, uh, agility, uh, ability. There's so many uh, parallels to each one. John wants to talk. What was that? Did I hear someone say, this is wrestling? Did I hear someone say, this is awesome? Or am I just standing here where all you guys are saying, go ninja, go ninja, go? You shut up, kid. I got the microphone, no one can hear you. So what's it gonna be, Ohio? Neon Ninja? Or Johnny Mundo? Neon Ninja? Or John Morrison? Quien te gusta más? Neon Ninja? Oh, Senor Johnny Mundo. Do yeah. some of you guys not get the LRA network? Like, like you, kid? Can your family not afford cable? You don't have Wi-Fi at your house? She's really hot about not having Wi-Fi. Y'all need to make up your mind. Go so it's the side. Go ninja, go ninja, go. 
And that has incensed John Morrison. Morrison starring in the new film Boone the Bounty Hunter. And Morrison now is hunting for the head of Facade after that diatribe from Morrison. What's that, kid? Did not go according to plan. I couldn't possibly suck because I'm not from Ohio. Valid point. Valid point. Not a valid point. Well, I mean, you're, we're in Ohio. This place is pretty terrible. Morrison now trying to elevate Facade. Neon Ninja slips up the back door. Now roll up Kano Cutter style. Two count only. And a springboard shot kick it X. Counter for counter style, Joe. That's what we're going to see out of this. Counter for counter as each man uh, shows their ability. Oh, check out that next strength. That is an amazing amount of exercise, of cardio, weightlifting to get your body in prime position to do that. And Morrison doesn't know how to scout it. He's got him here, though. Masada twists in with DDT, nicely done. Unbelievable. Beautiful counter for counter wrestling here. Masada has uh, Mundo here scouted very, very well. And again, we talked about the crowd playing a part in this matchup. We thought it might get the head of Masada. It turns out it got the head of Johnny Mundo. Up and over. Oh. Mundo cut Masada high. That kick look out. I'm getting out of the way. We've had enough activity I, out here tonight. Oh, jeez. What in the world oh, are you doing? Facade. Oh, oh, God! God! Did you hear that kick, Joe? Facade connected flush, Jesus and Christ. Mundo sits sprawling across this floor. Mundo is on the retreat. Facade goes double spring, and Mundo's halfway to the parking lot. Well scouted, well moved there. Mundo, you cannot let Facade get rolling like that. That is his greatest strength, is that momentum. Counter for counter, move after move, Facade flows into the next thing, into the next thing. Well, talk about getting inside somebody's head. And if you're Facade, you gotta, you gotta think that he's, he's looked up to Mundo as kind of an icon to him. A man who's taken this type of style internationally. So a, a, a man who's taken the style and made Lucha as well prevalent on national television in, in America. Without a doubt. And now he's flipping him off in the uh, in the out in the uh, entryway here. And now Mundo is pursuing Danny. That is, oh, oh God! Mundo took his eye off the ball, and the ball came back and smacked him right in the face. Mundo is all out of sorts here. Uh, did not expect this from him. No, I think the crowd threw him off, and then Mundo tried to put Masad through our table and then the middle finger. Mundo has not come in with a smart game plan. Now, which is rare for him, because you've seen uh, he's taken on uh, people that are similar uh, to Facade. Uh, people that are just as big crowd favorites in his travels, and is just... Oh. I was going to say take him off his game, but he's right on. I think Mundo is accustomed to sometimes being the, well, cover the outcast in the Lucha Underground Temple, sometimes being the outcast in the WWE's ECW. But uh, Mundo looks like he's gone a little bit Hollywood since the release of his latest movie as an East strike caught Masad high around the temple. Absolutely, you talk about Johnny Mundo and Lucha Underground, so oftentimes are ver uh, referred to as like the, the token American for the audience. He's okay with it. He's, recently in an interview, he said he's fine with being that guy. He's fine with being an outcast, and he's showcasing it right here. Oh, that's what, three knee strikes? Yeah, that is. Facade can be out of it here. No, near fall. But notice as Facade comes up, very far away glazed look in the eye of the Neon Ninja. Yeah, and Facade looking for uh, some sort of uh, solace here, and Mundo yeah. right on top of it. Knows enough about Fasad, but he knows to keep the Neon Ninja grounded. Does not want to give Fasad a chance to open up and really fly with this matchup. We saw Fasad attempt that double springboard earlier. Mundo had an answer. He knows that he'd have an answer if Fasad gets another opportunity. 
Yeah, again, as we said, so much about that momentum, that flowing from one thing to the next. It's going to be up to Monday to sh stop those, those mini rallies short, just like that. Cannot let those rallies move on. Stop them short. Stay in control. Yeah, as soon as Vassad try to create that distance, with distance comes opportunity, Mundo shuts him down. Yeah, Mundo, again, uh, mentioned earlier, the, the veteran instincts of Mundo, 15 years, that is a long time to be in the wrestling business. Uh, all over the world, Johnny Mundo has, has faced a lot of different competitors. He's not going to get out of his mental game right now. He's in firm control. This is where he wants to be. And Vassad, even from his back, trying to fight his way to his feet, trying to strike at whatever he can reach. Absolutely. Vassad strikes well off his back. Uh, you have to watch not just the, the fist from his back, but he'll extend with those kicks uh, and create those, that distance from you, and then it's back up to his feet. Hard impact on the neck breaker. Deep hook of the leg. No. It's a near fall. Vassad struggling here, trying to get to that momentum, trying to get distance away from Mundo. Mundo wisely continues that pressure on Vassad, continuing to keep him, as you've noticed, in the center of the ring, not letting him get into the ropes, not letting him use that to his advantage. And keep seeking that adulation. Vassad able to sneak in, rolls him up. No, near fall. And back to the hard close line, takes Vassad back down into the canvas. And Facade is in a bad, bad way at this point. He has been rocked once again by Mundo. Who looks to like tight? Two and up. Two. Yeah, Chris covers there too. A lot of weight using that leg. Uh, Mundo looking to, to sneak in, use that leverage on that weight. But again, we're, we're, we're into a cravat here. Johnny Mundo hey, going out of his game to make sure that Facade can't get into his. Keeping it in the center of the ring. Keeping away from that ropes. Don't let that momentum build. That could be the end of you. Mundo's been trained by some of the best. Al Snow, Bill the model, Ohio Valley Wrestling. Mundo knows the ins and outs of this business and the ins and outs of a strategy of stopping somebody like Vassad. Again, do not let him build that momentum. Cut that momentum off short and quick. Continue to keep control. Mundo, a very, very, very solid strategy here. And Marcus, with, with how many shots Vassad's taken to the head, the three knees down into the bumper just then, you gotta wonder if Vassad maybe showing some con concussion type soon. Uh, quite possibly. You go home. Mundo just slapped him with a bandana. Though. A bandana he pulled out of the crotch of his pants for extra insult to injury. And a middle finger to Danny and to the world. Uh, Johnny Mundo, he's here to prove a point. He is coming into Facade's house and he is going to slap him like the you know what that he thinks he is. And Facade is daring for more. Thank you, sir. May I have another? Facade can't stand it no more, and he reciprocates. And that's all about insult to Johnny Mundo. Can he build that momentum back up? Oh. Hard strikes. The atomic drop. And Mundo's got to cut this off. Side. Oh, it's big board! Boom! Saw connects! Could he have him? No! Now, if you're Johnny Mundo, this is worst case scenario now, Joe. Facade starting to build that momentum. This is where he really thrives. This is his specialty. And Facade feeding off these fans who are coming alive for the Neon Ninja, former Remix Pro Champion. Facade getting a springboard and Mundo beats him with a thrust kick. Beautiful kick there, Joe. Johnny Mundo with a beautiful extension on that leg. Caught him perfectly. Again, cuts that momentum off before Facade can really get it rolling. And Johnny Mundo going to take a chance, it looks like. Get up. Fly with a corkscrew. Nobody there. Mundo may have landed awkwardly. Double sprint this time! And a somersault punch of connects. We talked about it earlier, sometimes Facade lives in that moment. In that one moment, he crashed and burned, caught himself. Hey, the green, mental baby. game there, so strong. The wherewithal to catch yourself in mid-flight, deliver a quick drop kick, 
and then recoup and then hit the beautiful 450 axe handle. Uh, Gorgeous. That's it, not just sticking on your feet, that's sticking in the air. That's unprecedented. But Facade does it time in and time out. Yeah, that body control that Facade has. Uh, the, the few people have that, and the only other person I can think of right now is in the ring with him, or how should I say, on the outside with him here. Johnny Mundo as well, beautiful body control, but Facade building that momentum. Maybe this was the opening that he needed to finally build that momentum up. Yeah, the parallels are nearly endless, but Facade taking a chance, and nobody there. Mundo able to counter, center ring. Oh, the static Spanish fly. Mundo's got it, and oh, near fall. Mundo half the count away. You gotta be thinking if you're Johnny Mundo, what do I gotta do? What do I gotta do to put away this man? You may be about to see what he's about to do. This could be the end of the world. It could be. Oh, Mundo's got other ideas in mind. Beautiful parkour roll through. Yeah. Counter wrestling at Facade with a high spin kick connects. Counter for counter wrestling, Joe. Uh, Mundo went high risk. It did not pay off. Facade had that adjustment. Facade waiting in the wings. And now Neon Ninja back in control. Now that momentum building for Facade. Now it's Morrison's turn to get rocked. Right to the temple. Facade. I noticed the damage done to Facade. Took him an extra second to get his footing. Mundo able to capitalize. Suplex countered. Facade gonna walk the rope. Cross kick connects. Can he get him here? Mundo is down. Mundo is done. No. God, how close can you get? And Facade. As shocked as anybody, he thought that was over. Oh, he caught him flush, Joe. Beautiful sidekick, caught him flush on the jaw. I thought it was over, too. Mundo had a, some sort of instinct, some sort of uh, heart. I don't know what he's got. He kicked out of that, that kick. I did not see that coming. And now, Assad signaling for the hyper crush. Look at this. Got caught in midair. The hyper crush countered. What? Moonlight drive. Oh, but moon he held on. He held on. The moonlight drive will do this. Second time. Mundo for a third. There's no way anybody can survive this. Three moonlight drives. And that is it, Joe. Done. What? I can't believe that. So Johnny Mundo has won championships with the Moonlight Drive. And he has hit three of them in a row. And Facade kicked out. I, I am beside myself when I see something like that. Formerly Starship Pain. It could be time to head to the end of the world. No. Facade out of the way. Mundo adjusts but comes down awkwardly on his knee. They count, again, body control in the air. Able to counter that and land on his knee, but his knee is definitely hurt. Facade with the right. Mundo responds in kind. And it is gut check time. Center of the ring. Main event of Remix Pro Wrestling's Throw Down for the Pound 15. Joe, if I told you that these two aerial assassins will come down to a slugfest, this, I would not think this is how we would see this match go, but we are now just punch for punch, kick for kick. Maybe. This is where we're at. We've seen the hyper crush counter. We've seen the end of the world counter. These guys are so adept in the air, you gotta switch it up sometimes. The round kicks. Oh, Mundo caught Masak coming in. Again, he's gotta cut that momentum. Smart move by Pamundo there. Do not let him get rolling. But what's next? What's left? They're so Mundo. out of gas here. Had to regain his bearings. And it gave Facade time to adjust. A half second ahead of Johnny Mundo. And Facade connects. How much do they have left, Joe? You can see it's taking a toll out of these two men. Well, I'm amazed they're still going. The physicality of this matchup. Mundo catches Facade. Ducks the high kick. 
second time around, Masad caught Morrison on the rebound, and Mundo back with a modified kick of his own. And we're back to square one, Joe. Both men on the ground here. Both men have exhausted everything. Again, the hyper has been countered. The end of the world has been countered. Three moonlight drives, and Fasad is, is starting to stir again. You want to talk about dream match? I don't know if anyone tripped this up. This is a test of wills. It's a battle of spirits. And what Mundo has, Mundo has Fasad spray paint. Mundo. We're going to make this insult to injury. And the official getting involved. Oh, and Mundo downstairs. Mundo downstairs raising the ire of Danny. The official was with the spray paint can. Hey! Well, she got up on the apron, Joe. Unhand her. And Mundo is going to abuse a woman. Are you kidding me? Well, she got up there. She got up there for altruistic reasons. Mundo went down. Oh, oh no. What a kick. To the butt of the jaw. Oh, Massad's out. He is out cold. Massad is. I don't think Massad knows where he is. Oh, oh no. What is wrong with you? That was, that was disgusting, Johnny. Now Johnny Mundo is asking the referee to throw her out. With Masada roll up. Masada roll up. The officials tending to Danny who's seriously hurt. Masada had this matchup won. Oh! Mundo for the second time. Mundo downstairs. Springboard. Masada head over heels. Could it be? Has Johnny Mundo played this perfectly, Joe? Has he done it? The end of the world. No, Fasad out of the way. Mundo could not connect. Fasad missed it by, by, near, by nearly inches, but still was able to miss the end of the world. Hyper crush. No. Look at this. He got him. The pile driver. A destroyer out of nowhere. Masad wins. Masad survives. Here is your winner, Masad. Mundo had the hyper crush counted again, and Masad was able to adjust in midstream. Turned that bulldog into a flip pile driver, and Masad was one step ahead. One move more complex than Johnny Mundo caught his opponent off guard, and the Neon Ninja survives in his house. Yeah, and you can talk about maybe Fasad has had higher profile matches, maybe he's com competing against higher profile opponents, but I think you learn more about Fasad from this match than you've ever seen from him. The will to keep going out of everything he took, everything to survive. I'm not a Fasad fan. I'm not even the first one to level praise to this man. But darn it, he survived the war tonight. And I think we've learned more about Fasad than ever before. Too low blow. The abuse towards his girlfriend, Danny, and anything else that Johnny Mundo could pull out was not enough to silence the Nira Ninja as Fasad survives the dream match here at Throwdown 15.